up, man, NFL 25 gamers? In today's Blitz of the Day, we're going to focus on a formation that a lot of people are very high on this season, and that is the 4-3 over plus formation. And what we're going to look at here is just universal pressure from 4-3 over plus, the ability, to, the ability to get pressure off the right edge, the left edge, and both edges. And for that, we're going to look at the cover three. Uh, what we want to do with the 4-3 over plus is the same things we've been doing from all the other formations, and it all kind of combines itself in the 4-3 over plus. So uh, the first and most crucial setup is we're going to base a line, our play, so that everybody lines up properly. We're then going to, and this is where the 4-3 over plus is a little bit better and differs a little bit from all the other. We're going to spread our defensive line, and we're going to crash our defensive line down. Now that's the basic front for every single pressure setup we have. Then we're then going to proceed to spread our linebackers. Now, whatever side we want to send the pressure off of is the side that we're going to we're going to blitz our linebacker down. So here in this example, we want to send it off the left edge. So we're going to hit RB or R1 on PlayStation 3. Flick the right analog stick to the left to re-blitz the left of screen linebacker. And then we're going to make one other adjustment. We're going to quarterback contain the left of screen defensive edge. Uh, defensive tackle Pico here, and then we can just use her the middle linebacker. I like to stand over the center for some reason this year. Uh, if you're just standing, you don't have to hold him. If you're just standing in line with the center, he'll just pick you up, and then the pressure will come in. Uh, and here you're going to see five-man edge pressure there uh, off of that left side. Now, for those of you who like more advanced setups and like to have more guys in coverage, you can certainly do that out of this formation. Uh, that's why we like it a little bit more than all the other ones. Everything's the same uh, that I just said to do. The only thing you're going to do now is you're just going to quarterback spy both guys on the left side of the uh, on the right side of the screen here, um, and that's going to allow you to now have two spies in coverage uh, for those mobile quarterbacks and stuff like that. And it takes really it actually makes it really good against drags and stuff. So I like that about the four three over plus. Okay, excuse me. So that's the left side. Let's go to the right side. Uh, base line. Spread your defensive line, spread your linebackers, and then you're just going to crash your line down. Everything's the same, and since we're sending off the right edge this time, we're going to send, we're going to hot blitz, or globally blitz, the right of screen outside linebacker by using the uh, strategy pad quick links. Then what we're going to do is we're going to re-blitz, not quarterback attain, re-blitz the right of screen defensive tackle, and here uh, you see that that guy slides over, and that's part of the 4-3 over plus formation and a part of uh, something that's different from NCAA where they wouldn't slide over this year. In Madden they do, so let's go over how we can keep them from sliding over to more effectively use this blitz. Well, what I like to do is I like to base align. Everything's the same. Set it up all the same. Uh, and then we're going to re-blitz Atkins. The only other adjustment we need to make is we need a quarterback contain uh, the left of screen defensive tackle. And we're always going to do that, so it's muscle memory. So now every time you use anything in the 4th year of a plus, you automatically know uh, I do all this, and then I know that I have to contain this. And now, uh, now that my linemen are set up, now I just need to blitz the backer off the side I want to come from. So for this example, I want to come from the left edge, and you can do it from the left edge. You want to come from the right edge, you can do it from the right edge. So it's all the same setup. So eventually, guys, and this is how you get fast with your user skill, when you know your setups, when you know what to do, and you work on them, and you work on them, it gets muscle memory down, and you just do them every single time. And, and now we can send two-way heat as well. So once again, here's how you send two-way pressure. I know I'm been going a little quick here. Let me try to show you the two-way heat. So two-way is very simple. We're going to um, do everything we just did in the first and second setup, and we're going to combine them into one. So base a line, spread line, spread linebackers, crash line down, re-blitz both linebackers now since you're sending off of both sides. Now, we're going to quarterback contain Pico since we did that on the left edge, and on the right edge, we're going to set it up like we're sending it just off the right edge and re-blitz Atkins. And now you see, um, now you see that this is the front look that you're going to have. Uh, right there it is, and you're going to get two guys free at the quarterback. Why is two guys free at the quarterback important? Well, if they try to pick it up by blocking a running back or sliding their line or whatever they may try to do uh, to pick up pressure in this game, the six-man pressure will almost always uh, get in versus any uh, pass protection idea or concept. And that's why I love this, uh, this these 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 formations I've been breaking down this week, especially the fourth year ever plus because of the ease it is uh, to send uh, two-way pressure at your opponent. And uh, it's very important to know how to do that uh, for guys who like to slide their line uh, and, and try to pick up pressure. Here we're going to slide our line to the left and we'll block our running back. And you see we're still going to get a guy free. So definitely add this 4-3 over plus blitz into your scheme. And be sure to come back later on in the day where I break down some more videos and, and some more concepts and stuff. Hopefully it can get you uh, a little bit better 
start Madden every single day, and uh, be sure to subscribe if you guys enjoy these tips. Uh, last thing, guys, if you have any questions or need further instruction on this play or anything in particular, let me know in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for another great opportunity to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning.